Yo, what's up? My name is Franco and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, let me explain the idea to you. I work as a physical therapy tech in the army and when I'm not doing that, I stream on Twitch. I started this channel so I could teach gamers different ways to deal with aches and pains with stretches and exercises that you can do on your couch or at your desk or wherever the hell you want. The idea is that it doesn't interrupt what you're trying to do. Now you may not think it, but there's a lot going on with your shoulders. There's a ton of different muscles and a lot of different ways for it all to go wrong. Whether you're holding awkward positions while you play a game or you're resting the weight of your upper body on your desk, it's easy to see why you might be in some pain. There's a lot of different things going on that might be contributing to jacking your shoulders up. Whether you're gaming on PC or console, there's a good chance that your shoulders aren't always in the best position. In my experience, most pain is caused by either being weak, tight, or injured. And if you're injured, it's probably because you're weak or tight. And your muscle probably said, I've had enough of this and I'm pieced out on you. Now, of course, I know, I know there's exceptions to everything, but most of the time it's gonna be one of those three things or a combination of them. Now let me explain how a joint works in a very simple way. Normally you're gonna have two bones that come together and allow movement of that body part. But they're not just floating around in space inside your body, they're gonna be held together by a joint capsule. So this joint capsule can get tight in different spaces, whether it be the top, the bottom, the back, the front. Depending on where you're tight, you're gonna have pain in different places as well. Our goal is to stretch out that joint capsule and create some space so that it's not so tight and it doesn't hurt so much. Easy peasy, right? Now the shoulder joint looks a little bit different from that and it's a little more complicated, but it still has a capsule and it can still get tight in different spots. If your pain isn't from tightness and it's from weakness instead, I'm actually gonna be making another series of videos that explain how to strengthen these muscles. So if only there is uh, some sort of way that you could be notified anytime I uploaded another video or something. Anyway, now some of these stretches might hurt a little bit and that's okay, stretching just kinda hurts sometimes. Usually I tell people if you do a stretch and it kinda hurts but it goes away within 30 seconds or a minute of stopping the stretch, then that's okay. That's pain that you can work through, that's pain that we're expecting. But if you do something and it hurts and it hurts for an hour or it hurts the next day, that means that you're doing too much and you're doing something wrong. You need to stop, maybe do the stretch a little more gently, maybe pick a different stretch. Now there are exceptions to this. If you've recently torn a muscle in your shoulder or you had surgery or you're dealing with a serious injury, don't do any of this until you've spoken to a doctor or a physical therapist. And when you talk to them and they give you a list of things to do, listen to them. Please, please listen to them. Don't be that person that makes things worse because they're trying to do their own thing. Okay, let's get to stretching because I've definitely talked way too much. My mouth is parched. This first stretch is pretty simple and you've probably done it before, but in case you haven't, let me go ahead and show it to you. To begin, take one of your arms and move it across your body. Take your other hand and grab your upper arm, either above or below. It doesn't really matter, you can even hook it with your arm. The one thing you don't wanna do is cross a joint. So if I'm stretching my shoulder, I wanna do it as close to that joint as possible. I don't wanna cross another joint to do so. Because if I grab here and I pull towards me, it's just kind of bending my arm, not really stretching my shoulder. So anyway, grab that upper arm and pull towards you. You should feel a stretch in this back portion of your shoulder and just hold it for as long as you need to. This next one is a variation of something that we do against the wall usually, but for our purposes, I'm gonna show you how to do it on a desk. You can also do this on a coffee table or any sort of desk or table that you might have near your living room. To begin, bring your arm up almost like you're swearing an oath and then lower your body so that you're next to whatever surface that you're gonna do the stretch on. Take your forearm and place it at the edge of that surface and then start to sink down, letting your forearm kind of stay stationary but stretching out your chest and the front of your shoulder. This may take some moving around to find the sweet spot that gets you that perfect stretch that you're looking for, but if you mess around with it, I'm sure you'll find a position that gives you the stretch that you need. This next stretch is something I'm also adapting to do on a table or a desk. Take your upper arm and plant it on whatever surface you're gonna do the stretch on. The trick here is to keep your upper arm stationary. If you start moving around, you're not gonna isolate that shoulder and get the stretch that you're looking for. Start the stretch by taking your other hand and gently pushing down on your wrist. You may not be able to go very far with this one and that's pretty normal. If you start to go down and you feel like you have to compensate by lifting up your shoulder or lifting that upper arm off the surface, but then you're going too far and you're kind of cheating yourself of a really good stretch. So make sure that your shoulder stays down, your forearm is on the surface, and you're just going down till you feel that stretch and that pull, 
and then stopping there, holding it for a little bit. Once you've gotten enough of this, reset to that starting position and then go the other direction. So push at the wrist again, all the way down as far as you can. Again, you may not be able to get much, but get what you can without lifting your shoulder or arm. Once you've gotten a good stretch, reset and you're finished. We're using your desk or table again for this one. It's gonna allow you to stretch out your triceps as well as the front portion of your shoulder. Square yourself up against the table or desk and put both arms or one on top of the desk. Once you've done this, slowly start moving your upper body down while keeping your arms stationary on the table. This is gonna allow you to stretch that tricep and you should also feel it in your shoulder. Again, make sure that you're not crossing a joint. The part of your arm that should be in contact with the desk is right above your elbow. If you go below your elbow, you may end up just flexing your arm and totally missing out on the stretch. For this next one, you're gonna need a towel or a strap. I'm gonna use this because I have it on hand. It's a physical therapy tool that we use pretty often in the clinic. It's just called a stretch out strap. If you're interested in getting one, I'll leave a link in the description below. Whatever you end up using, go ahead and bring it behind your back. One arm is gonna be above and one arm is gonna be below. The one that's below is the one that we're working on stretching right now. If you're especially tight, you may not be able to get your hands too close together, but that's okay because that's what this is for. Grabbing onto the strap with both hands, this top hand is going to pull straight up and the bottom hand is just gonna hold on and go along for the ride. You should feel a pretty good stretch in the front of your shoulder and once you've had enough, go ahead and release and come back down. For a little extra credit, you can actually pull down with your bottom hand and stretch the tricep of that top arm. After you've done this, go ahead and reset and try it on the other arm. So how are you feeling? Better, I hope. It's important to remember that while doing stretches can offer some instant relief, dealing with pain on a larger scale can take time. It's not a one and done kind of thing. So if you stay consistent and keep at it, I think you can see some long lasting results. But you're here, you're making an effort to improve yourself and that's amazing, that's the first step and you've already taken it. So go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back unless of course that hurts your shoulder, in which case don't do that. Do the stretches instead. Here, get close, turn around, there you go. Pat on the back for you, from me, good job. Amazing work, keep going, you're awesome. It's my goal to continue making these kinds of videos for different body parts, so if you have requests specifically, go ahead and leave in the comments below. Otherwise, check out the other videos I've made and see if there's anything helpful for you. If you found this video helpful, I'm not gonna beg you to like and subscribe, but what I will ask you to do is send this video to a friend of yours who might be dealing with shoulder pain as well. Who knows? They'll probably be super thankful. They might even buy you a sandwich, but if they buy you a sandwich, I want a bite because it was my idea and I want my cut. If you wanna see more of me and what I do, head over to Twitch where I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I stream a variety of games and it's a pretty good time. My mom thinks I'm funny, so that's cool. If you'd like to send me a clip of you doing a stretch that you find helpful, I'll throw it at the end of one of my videos and I'll promote your social page or stream or YouTube or I don't know, whatever you've got going on. Check out the description below for info on how you do that. That's all I've got for you today, so do your stretches, clean your controller because I'm sure it's gross, and call your mom because I'm sure she'd love to hear from you. Peace! All right, you're a you can say it.